Hi guys, Mary here. Um, today is Tuesday. What is the date today? Tuesday, November 20th. I wanted to do a video and I do apologize for the jackhammering next door. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about something that came through in meditation today um, that Spirit wanted me to share with you. So, um, they wanted me to talk about labeling. So, as we go through this ascension process, you know how we are um, going to this new earth, a new way of living, yada yada. Um, one thing that we cannot take with us is judgment. Judgment of ourselves and judgment of others. Um, one thing that we do without even realizing it is we label people. We label ourselves. We do it all the time. And Spirit wants you to know that you are not your label. You are not your job. You know? Um, I used to get great pride in saying I'm a nurse. And, um, and I still do. Um, but I know that I'm so much more than a nurse. And you're so much more than um, an attorney or whatever you are. We are not our jobs. Um, and Spirit wanted me to talk about labeling um, people. We have a tendency to do that, even like the foods we eat. So years ago, I was a vegetarian for a little while. Then I started eating meat again because I just didn't feel right. Um, now, uh, sometimes I'm vegan. Sometimes I'm vegetarian. Sometimes I just eat junk, <laughs> you know, if I need comfort food. Um, but the point is that, you know, um, I don't label myself anything anymore because I just follow the guidance from my body. I eat what my body wants. I, I um, listen to my body. And sometimes my body needs meat. Um, not usually, lately, but I don't want to label myself as a vegan or a vegetarian and then change my mind. You know, I remember I was in the store, I don't know, it was maybe a couple years ago, and um, I had started eating meat again. Even before I started eating meat, I do buy meat occasionally because I was cooking meat for my husband. Um, but someone actually came up to me and said, I thought you were a vegetarian. And I was like, you know, and we have this need to label ourselves and each other. I'm not sure why, but um, I'm going to stop labeling myself. I am not my job. I am not my career. I am not what I, you know, a vegetarian or vegan or, um, you know, I'm not my religion, I'm not, I am just a spirit. <laughs> I'm a soul here having an experience and that's what you are as well. So be careful of labeling yourself and be careful of labeling others. Um, that's going to help with judgment. We have to let go of judgment. All right, so since you're here and um, I have cards right here, why don't I draw the... Um, what deck shall I draw from? I'm going to try this Kyle Gray's new deck. This is Angels and Ancestors, the newest deck from Kyle Gray. Let's just see what spirit has for us today. Arrow, surround yourself and protect your, surround yourself with protective energy. It's an arrow. Looks very Native American. This reminds me of, um, well, I'm empathic and I know a lot of you are as well. So you want to make sure that you clear your energy. Um, have you ever gone into a crowded room or a crowded area 
and then you get back to your house and you feel like down for no reason, uh, depressed for no reason, that sort of thing, you, you probably are taking on other people's energy, so you need to protect it. Um, you can surround yourself with a bubble of white light. Uh, after showering with um, whatever color you decide, I, I go with a turquoise. I just um, let the shower of light go through me and around me. I envision a drain in the bottom on the floor. And all that negative energy that's not mine goes right down the drain. And then surround yourself with white light, pink light, yellow light, whatever you're comfortable with. And that's a way to protect your energy. Um, we're all made up of energy, and it's our auric field. It's all around us. And when we engage with other energies, it affects our energy. So you want to be protective of it. The next card up is Guardian Angel. And it says that you are not alone. I love that um, this shape, it's got the triangle, which... You guys know I've been visited by these three triangle beings at night, and they've been coming pretty much every night now. Um, they are sticking around more. They, I'm communicating with them, so um, still not sure. I have a feeling I know who they are, but <laughs> not quite ready to share. Um, but I love the white feather. Um, pay attention to any white feathers um, in your path, but. Just know that each of us has a guardian angel. Each of us has uh, spirit guides. We all have um, entities around us that are protecting us and guiding us. So um, you're never alone. You're always, um, your angel is always around. So they do need you to ask them for assistance. So don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help. They know we have free will. So they're not just going to do it without being asked. This is the round and round card, number 25. Two plus five adds up to seven. That means you are on the right path, even though it feels like it's not a straight line, um, that you're not getting where you want to go fast enough. It may feel more like a spiral. Um, so you may feel like you're going two steps forward and a step back, two steps forward and another step back. Just know that you are getting there. Um, everything is in divine timing. Have some patience with what you're going through, whatever situation that's going on. Have some patience with it. Be fair. This is to be fair. Be fair to yourself. Be fair to others. This is like a scale. This is all about balance, harmony, peace, justice. Um, there's an owl on her head, so I feel like... Um, inner wisdom. If you use your inner, inner wisdom, your inner knowledge, you'll know um, how to balance yourself out. We need to have a balance in our lives between the feminine and the masculine, between the uh, work and play. We need a balance um, in all things, right? Um, let me see what deck I want to use. I'll pull one more card. Let's do Kyle Gray's Angel Prayers. Yeah, so balance is important. You can't just work, work, work all the time, and you can't just play, play, play all the time. And also have a balance between giving and receiving. This is the time to give thanks. It's Thanksgiving here in America, um, but uh, it's always a time to give thanks. Gratitude, when you show gratitude, Things come to you. It's uh, the law of attraction. Just be grateful for what it is that you do have, even if you think it's not that much. We're always better off than someone else. <laughs> okay. Count your blessings. So, gratitude. Okay, so happy Thanksgiving to everyone celebrating the holiday. Um, and... I just want to welcome anyone new that's um, watching the channel. I appreciate you being here. And for all of you that have stayed with me, I appreciate you as well. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.